Last week, we found that the duo of fivefold evangelists and Pastor Shepherd teach the body of Christ about the love of God. The week before that, we found that the fivefold apostle and prophet established a foundation upon which further truths could be laid. We only have one of the fivefold ministries remaining to explore. Tonight, we will examine the fivefold teacher. A working definition of a fivefold teacher might be the special grace given by Jesus through Holy Spirit to certain members of the Ecclesia to impart scriptural truth in such a way that releases God's power and anointing, thus encouraging believers to rise to their potential in God. He has the ability to impart the Word of God accurately so that people are not fooled by false doctrine. Fivefold teachers ground the Ecclesia in God's truth. They have the God-given ability to reveal and to impart God's truth in a life-giving and life-changing way that is easily understood and applied to everyday life. Their passion is to take a truth that is unclear, confusing, or difficult and explain it in a way that is easily understood and applied. The qualifications for a fivefold teacher are the same as with the other fivefold gifts. Character is an important qualifier, and you find that in 1 Timothy 3, verses 2 through 7. Of note is that fivefold teachers live and experience what they teach, being an example to the body of Christ in word and in sound doctrine, demonstrating the Word of God at work in his life. An example of a fivefold teacher, teacher, Paul, immediately comes to mind. Then there is his disciple Timothy. One who is often overlooked is James, an elder in Jerusalem. The fivefold teacher is last on the list of God's special gifts mentioned in Ephesians 4.11. Many say that it is possibly the most neglected, yet the most needed, of the fivefold ministry. Many agree that the fivefold teacher is the most impersonated and misappropriated. A fivefold teacher is called and anointed by God and affirmed in his spiritual leadership. He is filled with and empowered by Holy Spirit and thus is able to impart truth in a life-giving or a life-changing way that brings grace to those who hear him. A fivefold teacher's basic scriptural motivation is, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. That's John 8 verse 32. His goal and passion are to mature the Ecclesia to the fullness of Jesus. <coughs> we must remember that there is a difference between someone who has a spiritual gift of teaching and someone who is a fivefold teacher. Someone with the spiritual gift to teach has a discernible gift of connecting dots and showing the unity of Scripture. However, the impartation of revealed truth with life-given and life-changing relationship results only comes through a fivefold teacher. One who teaches has the opportunity and the ability to either lead people astray or lead them on the right path. This applies to worldly matters and spiritual matters equally. Now that is a sobering thought. One who teaches spiritual matters invalidates his ministry when his life does not align with what he teaches. When that happens, it becomes like a sounding brass or a clanging cymbal, and all respect for him decreases. According to Scripture, a fivefold teacher will always be judged more strictly by the things that he shares. James 3.1 says, Not many of you should presume to be teachers, my brothers, because you know that we who teach will be judged more strictly. This verse should warn every fivefold teacher to be very careful 
when standing before God's people to explain God's word. He stands alone within the fivefold ministry, having a judgment by God openly stated in Scripture for any error in fulfilling his function. Much has been said about the false prophet, but there should be much more emphasis put on evaluating the false teacher. A teacher that will knowingly feed the ecclesia moldy bread and not care that revelation knowledge is non-existent in their teaching is not one who is chosen by the Lord. God constantly reveals truth. He wants and He expects His people to be fed His truth so that they can mature, live in that truth, and be fully restored into their original condition of being made in His image. Much of what is taught in today's church, unfortunately, stems from man's intellect rather than revelation from God. Sadly, today's teachers expound on what they know and they reproduce what they are, intellectuals. Therefore, more and more intellectuals have been birthed by the church. The result is seen as a church with people full of self-esteem, self-awareness, and self-worth. This produces sheep that are self-righteous, self-reliant, and focused upon self rather than God. They are taught that life is all about self-performance rather than God having completed the work. Where there is no revelation, it will be replaced with man's intellect. There are more people that want to talk about God but walk with the devil than those who are willing to be transformed into the Lord's image. Therefore, false teachers will continue to flourish, tickling the ears of the ignorant or creating fear and helplessness. Misguided and fearful church leadership and their followers will often attack a fivefold teacher that is imparting truth. They will speak and perpetuate lies concerning these faithful ones, causing division in the body of Christ, the ecclesia. The false pastor and weak eldership enjoy walking just the way they are, which is usually walking with one foot in the kingdom for show and the other foot in the world where they live. They will actually encourage and allow the sheep to be compromising in their walk as well. They will not prepare nor warn the sheep of the error of their ways. However, Jesus tells us that if our walk is too easy and no changes are required, we're probably on the wrong path. It is time for the role of the fivefold teacher to be restored. A fivefold teacher is not a teacher of the soul because it's not about logic or reason. It's about revealing the hidden truths of God. It's about revealing the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. It's about saying what God is saying. When a fivefold teacher imparts the things of God, they are saying what God is saying. In doing so, they will be despised today, just as Jesus was despised in his day. The gift of the fivefold teacher is to inform and instruct the spirit of man to believe that they will be given at a moment's notice wisdom, understanding, and counsel from Holy Spirit. Scripture abounds with mysteries hidden in plain sight. Fivefold teachers impart foundational truths. They seek to receive new, fresh revelation, a fresh understanding of an old truth. Therefore, while a fivefold teacher is imparting foundational truth, he is also releasing fresh revelation regarding those truths. Few understand the experiential relationship of a fivefold teacher. The experiential relationship that he has with God. Often a life experience tests or affirms a truth that they are preparing to share or being prepared to share. 
whatever truth of God they are imparting, that particular subject very often will be tested in their own lives beforehand. The fivefold teacher comes out of that experience with a firm understanding and reality of God's provision, allowing them then to give testimony to that fact when they share on that subject. This testing of a fivefold teacher is their opportunity to experience that the Word of God is true. They are to impart what they know by experience to be true. A fivefold teacher shares from life experiences and revelation, not a theory, a thought, or a concept. There is a responsibility of fivefold teachers to make sure what they impart is truth and reality. He cannot say something just because it sounds good. It needs to be accurate and aligned with Scripture. A fivefold teacher stands in a place of spiritual authority, so God holds him accountable for the spiritual truth that he is imparting. A fivefold teacher wants to not only lay a good foundation, but also to build upon the foundation that has already been laid. Sometimes there is a weak or a corrupted foundation that must be removed. It must be unlearned before a sound foundation can be laid. When you find a fivefold teacher, what do you see? What is he made of? What are some unique traits that they possess? Fivefold teachers speak and validate truth, especially doctrinal and theological truth. To them, when it comes to truth, there's only black or white. They have inquiring minds and dig into Scripture, listening to receive fresh revelation from Holy Spirit. Fivefold teachers speak with authority because they know who gave them the words to speak. They are imparting truth and releasing life from the very originator of life. Fivefold teachers have an ability to articulate and express thoughts. They have a God given ability to take something difficult and make it amazingly simple and easy for people to grasp. They truly expect and trust that Holy Spirit will interpret the spoken words for each individual, enabling them to understand and accept the truths that are being spoken. A fivefold teacher desires to train and release others into their individual ministry. In particular, they train and mentor those who teach. There is a strong connection between the content of instruction and the example of a fivefold teacher because he is often imitated by his disciple. That is the spiritual fathering heart of a fivefold teacher and of all of the fivefold ministers. Fivefold teachers possess a unique passion for God's truth. A fivefold teacher's passion is for the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. They see black and white, there is no gray. They carry a God-given desire to see the body of Christ, the Ecclesia, reach a place of maturity where they are able to handle the meat of Scripture. They long for the deeper things of God and desire that the body of Christ hunger for it as well. A fivefold teacher hungers and thirsts for wisdom and truth, ingesting them whenever he can. Most importantly, he listens to Father, Jesus, and Holy Spirit for his food. A fivefold teacher is one who dies to their own human thinking and their worldly intellect to let Holy Spirit impart truth through them. They allow the gifting that is vested in them and the anointed of God that is upon them to express truth in a way that no other fivefold ministry can. They are the ones through whom Holy Spirit primarily imparts truth today. Through them, 
Holy Spirit will educate the flock of God, the Ecclesia, concerning the knowledge of Jesus until they reach the full stature of his body and become his unblemished bride. A fivefold teacher is a gift from Jesus to the Ecclesia, operating in a kingdom of God office. Others in the fivefold ministries are anointed to impart knowledge. The fivefold teacher carries the distinct anointing to take that knowledge and the mysteries of God's Word that are clear and revealed to Him to make it clear to those who are listening to Him. What is revealed by God to the fivefold teacher is what is needed for His children at that time and at that place. Fivefold teachers build line upon line, concept upon concept, truth upon truth. Fivefold teachers study in depth and they converse with God before sharing new insight. They confer with Father, Jesus, and Holy Spirit during the preparation process. When they share revealed truth, the fivefold teacher is listening and allowing Holy Spirit to speak through them. They have an intense urge to learn and then give away what they have learned. Fivefold teachers explain things from different angles so that the person is able to understand. Fivefold teachers are willing to be taught. They can be local or translocal in ministry assignments because they are given to the body of Christ as a whole. Now, those are interesting traits, but what does it look like or what does it feel like when a fivefold teacher functions properly in fulfilling his role? He inspires. He lights a fire in the hearts of others to know the truth. His walk with God demonstrates that all things are possible for them who trust in God. He starts with a foundational truth and continues to build truth upon truth. He builds up and builds upon the other fivefold ministries. He sees them as opportunities to establish foundational truths. And in doing so, he enables those ministries to flourish. In fact, he builds up and encourages the other fivefold ministries. The fivefold teacher sees God in others and helps them to see themselves as God sees them. He corrects, rebuilds, and encourages using the truths and love of God. He teaches correction without you even knowing it. He has a unique way of guiding discussions away from areas where confusion or rebellion is and gently lead the people into the truth. He conveys the word of God in depth. He peels the onion to get to new levels of understanding truth. He shares revelation that removes confusion and doubt, building confidence and trust. He is teachable. He knows that he doesn't have all the answers. He seeks wisdom from others and from God. He is always learning from Holy Spirit. He will take a revelation from a prophet or an apostle and then explain it. A prophet or apostle may get a revelation, but they are often unable to adequately explain it to others. A fivefold teacher will expound on that revelation, bringing clarity and applicability to the hearer. The fivefold teacher is also an organized person. He's able to build line upon line because there is order in his impartations. Holy Spirit keeps them in order so that they can find, discover, and share truth. Fivefold teacher has a love for the Word of God. This love is for Jesus, who is the truth. It's all about relationship. This love enables him to hear Holy, clear, Holy Spirit clearly when reading the written Word. Fivefold teacher leaves you desiring more. When he finishes sharing truth, there's a hunger for more that is left in those hearing his words. They don't want the fivefold teacher to quit his sharing. The hearer 
now has more understanding, yet he also has more questions. A five-fold teacher loves to ask questions. He often answers a question with a question. Questions are the means and methods to help others internalize and accept the truths being imparted. It's, it's the same concept of teaching someone how to fish, vice giving them fish. The fivefold teacher knows that the answer being sought is within the person because Holy Spirit is within them as their personal teacher. The fivefold teacher shows us that not only does God speak to us, but that we should speak what we hear when led by Holy Spirit. The fivefold teacher speaks what he hears, and he does so in an orderly, clear, concise fashion so that the listener actually hears Holy Spirit speaking through him to his or her own spirit. When you hear someone speaking truth led by Holy Spirit, even if your mind's intelligence does not follow or comprehend, even if your soul's intelligence and rational process is left behind, you internally know the truth of what you are hearing because your spirit already knows that it is truth. What God does is He gives an anointed word to be spoken by a fivefold teacher, which, through His gifted impartation of truth, causes shackles to fall from people's wrists and ankles, or causes scales to fall from people's eyes. Where they were once blind and held captive, they are now able to see and walk freely. Probably the best way to look at the fivefold teacher is to establish how we might recognize the person and the teaching of one who is a fivefold teacher. Fivefold teachers have an apostolic perspective that causes them to teach with the purpose of equipping disciples to impact and change not only the disciple but also those within the sphere of influence in which the disciple lives. In other words, fivefold teachers think and impart in terms of transformation, not information. Fivefold teachers often share in terms of transferable concepts rather than informational constructs. They develop practical line-upon-line, concept-upon-concept teachings upon which the disciple, with Holy Spirit's enablement, may continue to build. Fivefold teachers tend not to be overly pastoral nor patient. Often they are seen as unapproachable, as possessing an unknown authority even being confident to the point of appearing arrogant or cocky. A common reaction of local leadership to a fivefold teacher is manifested in fear. Fear of losing control, fear of losing authority, fear of being overshadowed, fear of fill in the blank. A fivefold teacher's way of life will agree with what he teaches. He will not be a hypocrite. His own life will align well with the precepts of God's truth that he is sharing. Two verses specifically point this out to us. 2 Timothy 3.10 says, You, however, know all about my teaching, my way of life, my purpose, faith, patience, love, endurance. And then in 1 Corinthians 4.17, it says, He will remind you of my way of life in Christ Jesus, which agrees with what I teach everywhere in every church. The fivefold teacher is a light giver, imparting and demonstrating that the truth and knowledge of God is accept, accessible to all through a relationship with Him. Fivefold teachers have an anointing for breaking confusion and misinformation. They are strategic in helping people know the truth of God and how it applies to their own life. 
without fivefold teacher. Lies, deceptions are never challenged. People's lies never embody the truths of God. And people don't understand why or how they can change. The people are not curious or hungry to read scripture because of boredom. The fivefold teachers impart truth so that every per person can know God's truth. That every person is able to understand Scripture. And that every person can know how to apply the truth of God to their own life. Fivefold teachers help people seek and discover their identity and purpose in Jesus and in the body of Christ. He points to Holy Spirit as the one who enables them to walk in their identity and to fulfill their purpose through their relationship with God. The importance of a fivefold teacher cannot be underestimated. The body of Christ, the ecclesia, is in desperate need of the fivefold teacher. Fivefold teachers restore the confidence and the courage of the body of Christ, the ecclesia. So they can stand up and say what is true based upon what God is saying and not the political expediency or the consensus building that characterizes church doctrine today. We are sorely in need of the fivefold teachers for the equipping of the saints for the work of the ministry.